Imagine this. Antarctica, the icy, desolate continent we know today, was once a thriving jungle. Let that sink in for a moment. The land of frost and snow, home to penguins and seals, coated in ice that's miles deep, was, in a time long past, a lush, verdant rainforest. It's a fact that's as startling as it is fascinating. Picture it. Less than a thousand kilometers from the South Pole, where now stands nothing but ice and biting cold winds, there was once a diverse forest, full of life. A forest that flourished in conditions that today we would find unimaginable for such a region. This secret of the past was not discovered in a dusty library or hidden away in an ancient text, but rather it lay buried deep beneath the ocean, waiting patiently to be unearthed. It was found in the form of ancient pollen, fossilized roots and chemical evidence, all of which bore silent testimony to the forest that once was. These remnants, so beautifully preserved in the seafloor sediment, offer us a glimpse into a distant past, a time in Earth's history when the planet was much warmer than it is today. This was the mid-Cretaceous period, between 92 and 83 million years ago, a time when the Earth was one of the warmest it's been in the past 140 million years. The average annual temperatures in this ancient forest were about 13 degrees Celsius, or 55 degrees Fahrenheit, with summertime temperatures reaching a balmy 25 degrees Celsius, or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Quite a contrast from the frigid temperatures we associate with Antarctica today, wouldn't you say? And so, we find ourselves faced with an Antarctica that is starkly different from the one we know. An Antarctica that was not only warm, but forested. A place where trees thrived under conditions that hint at a far more potent greenhouse gas environment than previously thought. Now, let's dive into how scientists unearthed this extraordinary fact. Our story begins with a team of researchers exploring the sea floor near Antarctica. As they burrowed into the buried sediment, they unearthed something extraordinary. Ancient pollen. This wasn't just any pollen, but traces of a vibrant, flourishing forest that once existed at the bottom of the world. They didn't stop there. The researchers dug deeper and found fossilized roots, a silent testament to the trees that once thrived in the heart of this icy continent. But the surprises didn't stop there. Alongside these roots, they discovered chemical evidence of a diverse forest. A forest that was teeming with life, resplendent with a variety of plant species. A forest that was, in essence, a jungle. But where was this forest? This jungle? It was less than a thousand kilometers from the South Pole. To put it in perspective, that's a little more than 600 miles. Think about it. A lush, verdant forest flourishing in what is now a barren, icy landscape. It's roughly the distance from New York City to Knoxville, Tennessee. It's hard to imagine, isn't it? But the unimaginable doesn't stop there. This wasn't a forest that existed just a few thousand years ago. No, this was a forest that thrived during the mid-Cretaceous period. We're talking between 92 and 83 million years ago. A time when dinosaurs roamed the Earth and the continents were still moving into the positions we know today. These findings were more than just a fascinating discovery. They were a window into the past, a snapshot of Earth's history preserved in the sediment below the sea. They offered the researchers a glimpse into a time when our planet was warmer, much warmer than it is today. A time when Antarctica was not a frozen wasteland, but a thriving, vibrant jungle. As they delved deeper, the researchers realized they were uncovering a glimpse of Earth's distant past. A past where Antarctica wasn't a land of ice and snow, but a place where trees reached for the sky and a diverse array of plants covered the ground. A past that tells us a story of a world that was, and a world that could be again. The buried traces of vegetation held the key to reconstructing what the climate must have been like millions of years ago. Imagine this. The average annual temperatures in this ancient forest, located less than a thousand kilometers from the South Pole, would have been about 13 degrees Celsius or 55 degrees Fahrenheit. In the summertime, temperatures could have even reached a balmy 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Quite the contrast to the frigid icy landscape we associate with Antarctica today, isn't it? This lush green forest flourished during a time known as the Mid-Cretaceous period, which spanned from 92 million to 83 million years ago. This period was characterized by a much warmer Earth than we know today, with high levels of carbon dioxide in the air. In fact, the carbon dioxide levels were at least 1,000 parts per million, compared to today's lower average of around 407 parts per million. 
But it's not just the warmer temperatures that are surprising. The mid-Cretaceous was one of the warmest eras on Earth in the past 140 million years. This estimate is based on the study of fossils and seafloor sediments collected closer to the equator, which also show high levels of carbon dioxide. Yet this ancient Antarctica wasn't just warm, it was forested. Yes, you heard that right. A forest thrived near the South Pole, a testament to the potent greenhouse gas conditions of that time. The air held more gases such as carbon dioxide far more than previously thought. In fact, carbon dioxide levels could have been between 1,120 and 1,680 parts per million. These high levels of carbon dioxide made it possible for a forest to grow in a region that now receives little light for almost four months a year. It's a stark reminder of the extreme potency of carbon dioxide and what it can really do to our planet's climate. The mid-Cretaceous was a warm era, but the ancient Antarctica wasn't just warm, it was forested. It was, for trees to thrive so far south, there had to be an even more potent greenhouse gas condition. This brings us to the heart of the matter, the greenhouse effect. Picture this, a lush forest thriving in an area where today there's only ice and snow. It seems unimaginable, doesn't it? But that's exactly what happened in Antarctica millions of years ago. And you know what made it possible? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, plays a critical role in regulating Earth's temperature. It traps heat from the sun, preventing it from escaping back into space. This process is known as the greenhouse effect. Without it, our planet would be a frigid wasteland, but too much of it, and we risk turning into a boiling hothouse. In the mid-Cretaceous period, the air held more carbon dioxide than it does today, much more. Johann Klages, a marine geologist at the Alfred Wegener Institute in Bremerhaven, Germany, estimates that carbon dioxide levels could have been between 1,120 and 1,680 parts per million, far exceeding today's levels, which average around 407 parts per million. Even though the South Pole received little light, almost none for four months a year, the high levels of carbon dioxide created a warm, temperate climate that allowed a forest to grow. Clegg says, It shows us the extreme potency of carbon dioxide, what carbon dioxide can really do. This ancient Antarctic forest is a stark reminder of the power of the greenhouse effect. It shows us that, given the right conditions, life can flourish in the most unexpected places. But it also serves as a warning. As we continue to pump more carbon dioxide into our atmosphere, we are effectively turning up the Earth's thermostat. The extreme potency of carbon dioxide shown here gives us a glimpse into what our future could be like. If we're not careful, we could end up turning our icy poles into tropical rainforests. And while that might sound appealing to some, it would have catastrophic consequences for our planet and all its inhabitants. Unraveling the past can provide us with important insights for our future. Our journey into the ancient Antarctic jungle has revealed an Earth where potent greenhouse gases created a lush forest in the unlikeliest of places. It's a world far removed from the icy wilderness we know today. In those ancient times, carbon dioxide levels soared, fueling a climate warm enough for thriving biodiversity. But this isn't just a history lesson, it's a window into a possible future if our current climate change trajectory continues. Understanding what happened millions of years ago helps us predict what might happen if carbon dioxide levels continue to rise as they are now. It's a stark reminder that our actions have consequences. We have the power to shape our climate, for better or worse. As we stand at the crossroads of climate change, the ancient forest of Antarctica serves as a stark reminder of the power of nature and the impact of our actions.